Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, my name's Jimmy Gamble, for those of you that don't know me, which is probably not very many. I'm um, sorry I can't be with you guys tonight. I had an orientation, um, just like uh, a lot of the other seniors had. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't skip it and be with you guys, or else I would be doing this in person. Um, but this will have to do a video. So tonight I want to um, talk to you guys about um, relationships with your parents, give you guys a little bit of a senior pointer, um, senior challenge I guess you could say. Um, the relationship with your parents might be the most important relationship you'll have. Other than your spouse, it's definitely the most important relationship you'll ever have. And um, God has designed the relationship with your parents to be very, um, very unique, as in um, they're people that bore you, um, raised you, provided for you. But as you get older, they're also your counselors, and um, if they're godly parents, they're parents that want to um, draw you closer to God. So um, I have four, four ways, four steps to uh, getting a better relationship with your parents and how to take basically full advantage of their counsel. The first is letting them into your life. I think this is a extremely, extremely important thing that you have to do to um, deepen the relationship with your parents. Basically what I mean by um, letting them in your life is coming to them and being like, Mom, Dad, I, I want you guys to, you know, I'm giving you permission, even though they don't need it, but I know it's nice for them to hear it sometimes. I'm giving you guys permission to come to me when you see something and um, correcting me, and I will do my best to um, take your correction. So I think um, I think that's a very important thing to do. It um, it'll let them um, you know be at ease, and it'll let them come to you more often. Um, once you've done that, when they do you know come to you and they have something, try to take it with humility, and that's really hard to do, especially for me. I know a lot of times I. Um, my mom, my dad comes up to me and they're like, Jim, you know, I want to point out the sin issue in your life. Right away, like, what? What? You can't say that to me. And I get all defensive, you know? And, um, by the way, I don't actually say it like that, but that's what's going on in my head. And right away, I'm trying to think of reasons why they're wrong and bringing that. You know, I'm not, I'm not proud. No, no, dad, you're wrong. You're right. You know, you're wrong on that. And you're the one that's proud. You know, I'm trying to get defensive. And, um, and a lot of times I don't even sit there and, take their counsel at all. I just push it off to the side, try and think of reasons why um, they're wrong in bringing it to me. And um, I think that, you know, what they're saying, 95% of the time, it's dead on. It really is. And um, it's kind of a shame that I push it to the side so much. And I think that all of us could really use to um, just hear it out and be like, thanks, Dad, for bringing that to me. You know, I'm going to pray about that. I'm going to try and um, improve. Which leads me to the third step. Um, do um, try, try to live out what they had said. So let's say um, let's say they sorry I'm going to sneeze nope um, let's say they um, came to you and they're like you've been playing too many video games just a random example so Jim you know you've been playing way too many video games after you've you know, invited that counsel into your life after you have um, received it with humility, try to um, make steps for yourself. Practical steps on how you're going to play less video games and show them that you actually appreciate their counsel because you are making steps to improve upon that. So let's say, you know, you limit yourself to an hour a day or something. But you take a step like that and that shows them that you really do want their counsel, and then they're going to bring it more to you, and your relationship is going to deepen, and um, really, you are going to start growing in godliness because what they're bringing to you is going to be helpful um, with your walk with the Lord if you have Christian parents. And the fourth and last step, um, this will help you grow in godliness. It really will. When you are have a good um, communication with your parents, you're going to have a good relationship with Christ and you're going it's it's going to um, help you grow um, towards him and uh, obey your parents and the Lord for this is right um, honor your father and mother this is the first commandment you know and it, it really um, is going to help your walk with the Lord it's going to 
make you a better Christian and um, you will really live out the Christian life so much better and it will be easier for you um, if you just um, listen to your parents and uh, seek their counsel. So thanks for hearing me guys out. Um, I hope um, tonight went well and uh, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys around.